Let's talk about starport services today. And first thing you see when you dock is that you can access starport services and their hangar or launch. When you enter starport services you will be seeing all facilities and available actions at this particular port. Outposts usually have less facilities than stations. Let me show you on system map how it looks like. You don't need to dock the station to see what you can do there. For example, I'm at this former orbital. And on the left you can see all information exploited by Lee Young Ru. By the way, there's still a bug with Lee Young Ru. You can buy not only modules with 15% discount, but even all ships. Government Democracy, Allegiance Federation, State Lockdown. And here are all facilities listed commodities. So you can trade here, black market, you can sell illegal goods, refuel, rearm, repair, outfitting, you can outfit your ship, and shipyard, you can buy new ships. You don't need to go and dock to see what facilities are available. If you are looking for black market, an example, you can check and see beforehand. All you need to do is access system map and you will see all information right away. Also, you can see trade data like economies, imports, exports and which goods are illegal. So if there is black market and for some reason you happen to have stolen cargo in your cargo bay, an example, you stolen it or you found it already by visiting signal sources, then you are sure that this station will buy them. The price is unknown because you can't. I will show you. Let me go actually straight to black market. If you don't have any commodity, you will not be able to see prices. So you need at least one ton to see price. But let's start with basics. On the left you see station's name, current date and time, allegiance, federation, this is federation icon. This is power exploited by Lee Young Ru. In the middle you see your ship, hull, fuel tank, reserver. Here you can refuel by 10% if you don't want to refuel full fuel tank. And below 10% you can refuel your fuel tank fully. You can repair all and reload all. On the right you can see Gullnet news. Here are local news. These are ships that passed in the last 24 hours this system. These are only commanders. As you see there were 73 ASPs passing this system. But this doesn't mean that there are 73 different commanders. It might be as well one commander very busy flying 73 times here and back. On the left you can see home. If you are in any other tab you can go back home. Under munitions you can buy munition. You can do same at rearm all. But some munition you actually can't buy there. In example limpets. Cargo hatch limpets and other limpets. You need to buy here as many as you want and each limpet will take one ton of your cargo space. My weapons are full so I don't need any. Let's go to repairs. My ship is repaired, integrity is 100%. What is ship integrity? It's wear and tear. In short, wear and tear represents your ship suffering from damage. As well as from different flight modes like super cruise, frame drive, hyperspace, fuel scooping, overheating, it all adds to wear and tear. So wear and tear only will affect ship you are currently flying, not your stored ships. And if your wear and tear is at 100%, the worst it could be, then your maximum hull health would be reduced by 30%. So in worst case scenario for now you only will suffer 30% penalty to your hull. And if you want to repair one by one you can do this here or like I said repair all. Bulletin board is for missions. Here you can accept missions and if you have any missions already accepted you can complete them here. They refresh I would say every 10 minutes or so but not always. There are different kind of missions and they all are tied to your combat, trade or exploration rank. So higher the rank, bigger the payout you can receive after you complete the mission. This particular combat mission tied to expert. You need to kill 9 pirates. To complete the mission you are given 20 hours, so plenty of time. And the reward is 300,000. So just go to LFT269, visit nav beacon, resource extraction sites or Signal sources and kill 9 any 9 pirates. When you go to that system and target any ship you will see if that's your mission objective on the left. Under contacts you can pay your fines. 
Fines after seven days become bounties on you. You can't pay bounties. Bounties will also be for seven days. After that, bounties will turn into legacy fines. Legacy fines you can pay again. Legacy fines are not shown under left user interface transactions tab. Current fines, current bounties, your bounty claims for ships that you have killed, wanted ships you have killed. Here you will also see combat bonds that you will earn by fighting in conflict zones. Here you'll see trade dividends, power play points, so transactions are tied to contacts tab. But you will have to visit the correct system where is that faction that issued any transaction and go to contacts and cash it in there. So here is the place where you can pay legacy fines, you can claim bounties for other ships you kill and trade dividends. Trade dividends you will receive if you are trading in a wing. So if you are in same system as your wingman when he is selling cargo you will receive 5% of his profit. And combat bonds you will receive for killing ships in conflict zones. Black market I showed you. Power contact if you pledge to any power you will see this tab. But depending on which system it is. So in your power headquarters or controlled systems you will see much more options here. I am at Leon Group Power, it's not my power, so I don't have any options. Below contacts you see outfitting, it deserves own video, too much to talk, but here is the place where you can outfit your ship. Then comes shipyard, here you can buy ships, here you can see your stored ships or all your ship locations with distance, blah blah blah. You can click on each ship but no data available. And for some unknown reason, Frontier still do not has implemented ship delivery system, so you will have to fly manually and take your ships one by one. But if you click on stored ships, you can see exactly what speed, boost speed, jump range, shields, armor it has. So these numbers change as soon as you outfit your ship. When you are buying ship, you will see, let me show you shipyard. If you are buying any ship, you will see these stats for stock variants. So these actually are not much telling you at all. You will increase them greatly by buying best frameshift drive, best thrusters, hull reinforcement if you want to, buying better shields, shield boosters. And for speed, you can buy all lightest modules you can have. And you can also see the basic information about your ship hard points, internals, two utility amounts, two small hard points, two medium hard points. Utility amounts are used for cargo scanners, kill warrant scanners, shield boosters, heat sink launchers, electronic countermeasures, frameshift drive egg scanners. Internals are used for shields, shield cell banks, frameshift drive interdictors, refineries, fuel scoops, all internal cargo racks, of course, obviously. You can even fly around without shields, but only with cargo racks if you want to maximize your profit. And what I really don't understand is why we don't see classes for modules here. I mean, which class of power plant is maximum, which class of frameshift drive, thrusters. This information now is useless. If you would see which class of thrusters, frameshift drive, power plant you can put in right away at shipyard would be much more useful. Yes, you can get that information at wiki page or internet, but I would like to see that at shipyard right away when I'm buying ship. That way, if we know the maximum price for each class modules, we could easily calculate what amount of money we need. And you can buy ships here at shipyard obviously. If you wanna buy new ship and store your current ship, this is one option. Or you can just buy new ship and sell your old ship. Keep in mind that by selling your old ship you will lose 10% of its value. You can't do anything about ship's hull. But if you have any expensive modules, go to outfitting, sell your modules or swap them with cheapest variants and only then sell your ship because by selling modules you don't lose anything. By selling your ship you lose 10%. In the future you might lose 10% by selling your modules as well, but for now there is no penalty, so you can buy and sell modules at exactly the same price. Under shipyard you can see commodities, it's a marketplace where you can buy and sell goods. Here you can see exactly the amount available at marketplace and supply, so there is low, medium and high supply and same goes for demand. The amount available and high, medium and low demand. 
high obviously is best. So if you are selling something you need high demand, if you are buying something you need high supply. And pay attention to amount available, it's very important. The higher the amount available, the lower the price and the harder to break the price when you are trading. And for trading the lower the amount is, the higher the price will be. But regular trading is not profitable anymore, you should look at power trading now. And demand same, 557,000 high demand means that this price will stay for long. You can also check galactic average 7000 and value for that you will get for selling 7.5. So not, not so good because it's medium only. Let me find something at high demand. In example palladium you see 13.5 galactic average you can buy it for 12.78678 and sell for 14.187. This is hard to break because you will not be able to deliver that much. So if you are buying checks available supply and 409,000 is very good. And if you need to sell, search for high demand. And if the number is very big, you will not be able to influence it. So the price will stay more or less same. And you can actually select here some more. If you have bought any trade data with nearby systems, you can see that. Or if you click on any, in example, you want to buy, you want to buy marine equipment. On the right, you see right away that you can export it to BD65210. And for commodities that you want to sell here, you can see where you can import them from. But this data is very generic. You will still have to fly there and check exact prices to see. You don't even know what amount is available at market. So here you buy and sell commodities. Universal cartography is where you sell your exploration data. And distance should be above 20 light years. So in my case, I have a scanned nearby system, almost 19 light years. To sell the data, I need to fly further away. So if you are doing long range smuggling missions, you can buy Discovery Scanner and make some money on site by exploring unexplored systems. So this is in short about station services.